You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah. Okay. So I'm on my way to work. I am already running like eight minutes behind, but I decided to get ready. Super last minute. Like not even get ready last minute. I've been wanting to get ready for a week or longer. But um, just being so tired and honestly working through this entire pandemic has honestly taken a toll on me on top of since we moved, it's been go, go, go. So I think here lately, I'm just like really low energy and really low just, I need an overall pep. So I feel like getting dressed and doing my makeup this morning because I need to do that for me to feel better, to take care of myself. And I went to Target and I got a few things for myself to feel better last weekend, today Friday, so yeah, last weekend now. And, you know, ended up having two pimples right here. Well, three really, and it was just like, I was just feeling a hot mess, looking a hot mess, and it's just been a redundant um, thing with not getting and feeling, not getting to and feeling like myself. So, I said today we was gonna do better. And today I have a doctor's appointment, so, I need to hurry up and get to work so I can set up for my doctor's appointment. And I'm going to sneak a little bit of stuff in there for you guys because it's my personal appointment. So I have that right to share what I want to share. And I'm not going to share a lot. Y'all not going to see me bust it wide open and bring it back. I'm just going to show y'all little details of what it all it entails to get a pap smear. Um, and then... Um, We'll share, you know, a little knowledge about that later as well. But I'm, in the meantime, you know, trying to get to work and maneuver through this little traffic I got myself in considering ain't nobody supposed to be on the road. We still got a little, a little minor traffic, but we're going to get through it. I'm going to focus on getting to work and then I'll come back and get with you guys later. Pretty much. Yes, ma'am. Because I was supposed to see her on the 14th, but I was like. So I'm in our waiting room right now because I'm waiting on a patient to get here. Hopefully she'll be here soon. Um, hopefully she'll be here soon so I can go home because on Fridays we leave at noon. So, um, yeah, she has to leave a sample of urine that got thrown away by one of our other nurses. So I had to stay, well, I decided to stay, be nice since they all had to run off on that in a rush really so I'm just waiting on her and then I can go home and clock out run her urine culture and leave <laughs> Thank God. 
but I wanted to kind of go over uh, the pap smear. I didn't get a chance to show y'all a whole lot. Of course, it was my visit, but then again, I do want to keep a lot of my business private. I'm not going to be in there with the camera propped up with my discussion going on with my doctor. So, anyways, to touch bases on pap smears, um, the regulations and rules have changed on those for women of particular age ranges. So, a woman of my age, y'all yeah, really don't need to know my age, but a woman of my age, we just need to get them like every three years now. It used to be when I had my daughter like nine years ago that you had to get them every single year, once a year. Um, and if you got them early, insurance wouldn't pay for it. But now the thing, rules have changed that they only require them every three years. Um, what a pap smear does is it looks for abnormal cells um, and the cervix uterus anything that you know it's not considered or deemed normal or healthy cells a pap smear will pick that up so things like hpv um, can be detected through a pap smear gonorrhea chlamydia can be detected through a pap smear um, and other issues can also be detected through a pap smear so but you doesn't you don't get hpv checked until you turn 30 I'm not there yet, but I will be soon. So if you aren't in the age range to get an HPV check, you get what's called an HPV reflex. So it's kind of like it looks for it without doing the actual HPV um, exam, if that makes sense. So basically, it's just like a little sample of tissue that they uh, take from the cervix. Um, and you know little secretions that come from the, the the lining in the walls of the vagina and the uterus and all that so with that specimen they send that to the lab and then it comes back now um with you get a well when you get a well woman's exam which is what this visit is called it's called a well woman's exam you typically undress completely you get your breast checked you get a, like a breast exam um, the doctor will check for pus, uh, check for lumps, check for, you know, any type of malformations in the breast, the, the doctor will check for. Not only that, but you also get looked, um, you're, you typically get your abdomen looked at to make sure there's no issues there as well. And then the doctor would then continue down towards the vagina and uses an, using a speculum to insert and open up to then perform the pap smear. So it's pretty one, two, three. Um, the doctor pretty much talks to you during the entire visit. So, you know, you really don't have your mind on what she's doing. It's more or less what y'all are talking about. A lot of people or physicians or people in the middle feel like to call that talk anesthesia, like anesthesia. Um, you talk to people basically through the fear or their anxiety of the visit they may be going through. So, um, me personally, I've had pap smears before. It doesn't affect me like that. Are they uncomfortable? A little bit. You feel a little pressure. Is it painful? No. I think if anything, um, you know, after you didn't have a few babies or if after you didn't have quite a few pap smears you're used to the feeling it's nothing that is really um gonna send you over the edge with pain if that makes sense but yeah i mean i don't want to talk a whole whole lot about pap smears and all that simply because they're not that invasive um they're very much needed and required for women but they're not that invasive it's not a whole lot of details wrapped around it but um yeah so i just wanted to share that with y'all a little bit so y'all can know what's going on i'm starving and i don't know what to eat that's all i know i'm about to go home and enjoy my afternoon before i go get my kids um and go from there do i want firehouse subs i'm gonna just get some firehouse subs and call it a day and take my butt home but yeah so i'm glad y'all you know i got the chance to put out a video today been feeling just like ugh to where i haven't been wanting to but um yeah i think that it's very much very much needed that i put one up so be back
Okay, on my way home, just left by our house stuffs. We still laying, we good. Okay. Um, but how are y'all doing honestly with this quarantine life? Like, I know a lot of people stuck in the house and can't do nothing, can't go nowhere. And I'm what you call an essential worker. So I am out in the COVID streets trying to make it happen. But I know it's been a little crazy for people, even us. I mean, not this, yeah, this past weekend, I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna insert some clips to show y'all how this last weekend just went. And I ain't even the whole details of it. so limited to what we can and can't do is just making it hard i'm telling y'all summer has started early just because they let school out and it's already hot as hell here in texas so i just feel like we had an early summer that's pretty much how i feel i really just wanted to bring y'all along with me today so um y'all could you know see how my day in life has been lately during this madness i'm still going to work i'm still doing everything that i've been doing nothing's really changed except for the kids are not in school school they're going to daycare so yeah i think that um i'm going to end this video here i don't want it to be super long either because my last two videos have been super duper long um, thank y'all for watching though and the love, but they have been long and I don't want to keep leaving long, long videos. So I'm gonna leave this one really short and then I'm gonna be in the process of uploading another one of some questions I have been getting and I haven't really responded just because I've been just here and there and everywhere, but I'm going to respond to those questions here, um, on a sit down in Hopefully that can answer some things and concerns some of y'all may have. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, for subscribing, for watching, for showing love. I just want y'all to continue to show the love, continue to give a thumbs up, continue to, you know, support your girl. Because honestly and truthfully, YouTube is my side hobby that I love so much but don't get a lot of time to put into so when I do get a chance to put a video together it excites me that y'all are interested it excites me that it's actually hitting home with somebody so I just appreciate y'all's um, continuous support so I hope we can continue this YouTube journey life together and hopefully y'all can just tell me what other videos y'all want to see like honestly if I had more suggestions and ideas that I didn't have to come up with on my own, <laughs> then I could put more content out. Cause I feel like, yes, my medical system videos get a lot of, um, a lot of play, but pretty decent play. But I really want to know, is that the only thing y'all want to see from me? Or are y'all interested in seeing, you know, anything else outside of medical assistant videos? It's been real.